Welcome to Scanny TV once again. The Sports Minister for Nigerian Football Federation, Sunday Diary, has spoken and um, he has sent a strong warning to Ghana Football Association, the Blasters, saying that they are just coming for the win. I'm going to give you the full voice, then you listen to what he said. Ademola Lukman has also joined the Nigerian football squad. I'm talking about the Super Eagles. He has also sent a message. We are going to watch the message as well. And on social media, Nigerians are mocking Ghana over Comoros' defeat in the AFCON. Ghanaians are also mocking Nigerians over Central African Republic. And um, what Serion also did over there. And Jolof is also trending as well. <laughs> um, Sadiq Umar has also joined Nigerian squad. Now they have 24 players at camp and a whole lot of things going on. I'm going to give you the full gist, full update on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit on the bell if you have not done so for more updates. Let's get into it. So the Nigeria Football Federation Sports Minister has spoken ahead of Ghana's clash at Babara Sports Stadium saying that they are coming for all the three points, not even a draw or they are just coming for the win and go on to win their next match. Let's listen. We're not going to play draw in Ghana, honestly. We're going to take this shit out of it. These guys should just go out. There's insurance for their legs now. There's insurance there, there's insurance here. I'll be mean, NFL. <laughs> All right, so we will now continue to Ademola Lukman, who has joined the Nigerian squad, and he also has some message for Nigerians as well as um, Ghanaians because the match is between Ghana and Nigeria, and he said this. So he also added some last sentence. I don't get it. So if you're a Nigerian on this channel, don't forget to leave your comments at the um, comment section. Let me get to know what he said in Nigeria language that maybe I don't get it. So let's also listen to him. Hi guys, it's Ali Mola um, Just arrived in the camp. Um, happy to be here. And Niger, what he did. Okay, so now we are going to move on to um, social media, I mean Twitter and other social media spaces. As you are all aware, even here on YouTube, the banter on comment section has not been easy. Ghana versus Nigeria, it is everywhere. Ghanaians are trolling Nigerians, Nigerians are also trolling Ghanaians over their past defeats and um, especially Nigerians are trolling Ghana for that defeat against Comoros in the just ended AFCON 2021 which was played in Cameroon saying that um, they will never sit down for Comoros to beat them if it happens so all the players will be banished from the country and a whole lot of things Charlie I cannot give you all the details here but I'm just going to show you some shots as I'm doing on the screens for you and you just have to be on social media to love this kind of banter others too are also saying that this whole match is not even only football as the captain for nigeria i'm talking about ahmed musa also um, highlighted in his interview he also said that the match is beyond football it talks about even um, music entertainment food and everything and people have started um, making jollof trending on twitter already so you are going to get a lot of news if you, even if you search jollof um, 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 game or jollof competition between ghana and nigeria so this game is actually moving out of the pitch to other territories or other that size so those are the latest news coming in Ghanaians trolling Nigerians and Nigerians also trolling Ghana over all um, their previous defeats or their previous results over there now we also understand that Nigeria today sent some um, you know leaders to the Kumasi Sports Stadium to inspect the pitch and everything over there and I think per reports coming in they are very satisfied with it and that is what is going on currently and if you go to the Nigerians camp now after having the player called Ademola Lukman joining. They are now having about 24 players in camp, which has been confirmed now. 24 players in camp now, and they are preparing versus Ghana. If they land in Ghana, I'm going to give you all the details on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit on the bell for more updates on Ghana versus Nigeria. Thanks for watching, and we shall meet later. Please like this video, leave a comment, and don't forget to share.